welcome back to my channel. You may call me Miss Introvert. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back and thanks for stopping by again. I want to thank everyone who is watching these videos, even if it is the tiniest handful for your continued support. This is a safe place for introverts who need some helpful writing advice and relatability. If you're an extrovert and you like to write as well, feel free to listen in. We love all the introverts, extroverts, ambiverts, and all the verts here on this channel. So where do you get an idea? Where's the nearest store to find such things? Ideas are actually very easy to find. In fact, easier than we think. The hard part, as I have come to learn, is crafting them into a full-length novel. But it looks so good and amazing. We writers all have that wish that our genius ideas would just appear in front of us in the form of a story. But sadly, that's not how it works. We have to write that story. Not getting any ideas, general or specific? Have no fear. I am going to share with you what I've learned about searching for ideas or brainstorming. I also have a couple of anecdotes that will hopefully clarify my points. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoy this video, introverts, writing, or anything else we talk about today. If you have any critiques or suggestions for future videos, make sure you comment down below. Also, comment down below your most recent idea. It can be a book, a pet name, a business plan, any concept that helps those gears turn in your brains. Okay, how to make a segue. Let's see. Oh, I just had an idea for a segue because I read about it from someone else's perspective. And my mention of that idea is my segue into my first topic, abrupt as it may be. Number one, learning from someone else. So you've had an idea before and it came from something familiar. Maybe it was something out of the ordinary that your brain just conjured up and vomited onto a piece of paper. Mine does that often. Sometimes it's from weird dreams that I had the night before, but I'm getting off topic. When you've had the feeling of being part of an audience, you experienced a new form of entertainment, or you rewatched Avatar again, like I do. Regardless, your brain is taking in that information. And with our pesky and proactive writing minds that are always two steps ahead of us, we are generating our own ideas from what we've just seen. A poetry handbook by Mary Oliver defines this phenomenon as imitation and states, before we can be poets, we must practice. Imitation is a very good way of investigating the real thing. By this, the author means that after we've read a book, watched a movie, listened to a speech, etc., 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 the sun just went away. We make our own version of it and build off of what we've learned. The same thing happened to me while I was thinking of concepts for my next book idea, which is a book idea that I had a long time ago and I'm still working on, which is what this writing experiment series is about. The Disney show Gravity Falls was on my mind, along with certain horror movies and TV shows, and I really wanted to combine the dynamic of family fun slash tension in the middle of a paranormal setting. Some of the characters are based off of people I've seen in real life or in TV shows, but the ideas came from imitating, not plagiarizing. That is one of the Ten Commandments, or no-nos, of writing. Not plagiarizing, but imitating the ideas of others to the form of something that is my own. Again, quoting Mary Oliver, you would learn very little in this world if you were not allowed to imitate. Number two, taking a break. Whether you've been writing forever or you've just started the process, it can be hard work and your brain will run out of fuel eventually. That's why it's important to give your brain time to recharge and rethink of all the ideas and even find the plot holes in certain plots or wherever you are in the writing process. Just like us introverts, we need time to recharge after being around people for too long. Do what you need to do to give yourself a break. Definitely don't overwork yourself or you'll go crazy. Writers, you know what I'm talking about. You'll start talking the way you write. You don't want that. You may offend or scare people off. I'm certainly no stranger to such things. As a matter of fact, it wasn't long ago 
when I last fell prey to the- Ah, oh, dang it, I did it again! Go on a walk, take a vacation, and go somewhere you've never been. Or like we talked about, gain more inspiration from books and other forms of storytelling. Those kinds of materials are like food for your brain. Number three, get productive. This point is the opposite of the last one. It's always nice to just sit and think about whatever you want in order to better understand the meaning of life and existence, but pretty soon you'll start to spiral. But you know those points in the outlining process when you have the ideas, you have them, but they won't come out. Like your brain is constipated. But you sit down at your desk and nothing, nothing comes on the screen. You have it, it's ready, but you know. <laughs> what do you do? Take another vacation? That would be fun, but eventually you would get bored doing nothing. So do something. Take your mind off of everything pertaining to writing and focus on something else. Whether it's work or driving or organizing your room, or washing some dishes, or doing laundry, or cleaning your bathroom. I know these are starting to sound not as fun as we move into the chore spectrum, but bear with me, okay? Learn a dance, sing the entire soundtrack of your favorite musical and or album, work out. And when you're out of things to do, go back to what you've written and edit it. You'll be surprised at how much you have left to fix, even after reading it for the 1000th time which I wouldn't recommend, but I've been there before. It's an exaggeration, but it's true. But look on the bright side. You learn more about your characters, your story, and ideas are coming your way by the time you go to bed. And they will keep you up. And those are just some of the ways you can get some ideas out of your head and onto paper. And this is just my take on the subject. There are plenty of other ways to do this and you can modify my advice however you'd like. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post about two to three videos a week and you don't want to miss the rest of the writing experiment. You can follow me on Instagram, check out my blog, and find the writing help on my Fiverr account if you're in need. All the links will be in the description below. Now it's time for me to get back to writing. Got a lot to do and only so much time to do it. Thanks for watching. Stay basic. Okay, bye. Also, if you're disappointed because there was no skit at the beginning of the video, I sincerely apologize. They're gonna be at the end now, but instead of a skit, I'll be doing shoutouts. In the writing experiment, I'm going to have shoutouts at the end of my videos, and on my regular basic videos, they'll be the weird skits that my mind comes up with. Ideas, ideas. If you want to be featured in next week's writing experiment shoutout, Give this video a like and be the first to comment on it. Okay, bye for reals.